Hey guys, it's Silver Snorlax, and I am back today with PSA Returns. This is round 18. Um, 54 cards in this particular round, and it's the introduction to PSA's new slabs for Pokemon cards. Um, PSA released months ago, about six, seven months ago, that they had new slabs, were creating new slabs um, that were thicker and a lot better looking, and um, they, they rolled them out for sports cards, but they didn't do it for Pokemon for ages, so... Um, I'm glad that they finally got around to putting them up there. I guess there's because of the size of Pokemon cards, they needed a certain insert in order to make the cards work. So they finally created one and they have them out um, for everyone. So I'm going to be going over those a little bit in this video as well. Um, I really don't want to turn this into an announcements video, but I do have a couple of quick things to go over there as well. As you guys know, over the past two weeks, it's kind of been a train wreck of events for me. Um, thankfully, I'm starting to get back onto YouTube a little bit. I've been very busy with work and everything else. Um, so I really haven't had a chance to respond to anybody by PM. Um, I will, I, by the time this uploads, I should have responded to you. If you haven't heard from me, drop me another PM. Um, but do stay vigilant if you don't hear back from me. Um, I try to be on YouTube at least once a day to check messages. I may not respond, but I generally read them. Uh, so just, you know, be aware, guys. Uh, I'm running around doing quite a bit these days, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, additionally, I want to uh, give a heads up to everybody who's asked, you know, when am I going to get my cards back? That sort of question, because as you guys know, financially speaking, I was wiped out for a while. Good news is I get money every week and my job pays me every week. So I'm very slowly building back up to resubmit back out and then collecting payments from folks at a later time, which is fine. Um, that's working out really well for me. So just be patient. I plan on shipping out rounds one week at a time. So round 18 will be this week, the following week. Round 19 will all be shipped out at the same time. So depending on where you are and which round, um, that's basically when you're going to be shipped back out. Uh, as far as to what, what round you were in, uh, that's a completely different question entirely. Round 18, uh, the cutoff date was 325. So if you're in round 19, your cutoff date was 425. Obviously, round 20 would be 525. So depending on what your cutoff date was, that's the round you're in. So do keep that in mind. You, can, you might have to do a little math and figure out where you, where you are, but that's about when your card should be shipped out. So do be aware of that as well. Uh, aside from that, I'm doing the best I can to keep everything organized and moving along. And we seem to be doing a fairly good job of it. Um, everything seems to be good on my end. It's just a slow process getting everything back out. So uh, now that I've rambled enough about general announcements and everything else, um, I'm going to go ahead and do the actual video. I'm sure you guys are really looking forward to this. I know I am. Um, I really want to go over the new slabs first and foremost. And we'll do that with Mr. Do It All Day's card. We'll show what he got first and foremost. He sent in a Rayquaza. That's a secret rare Rayquaza from Dragon's Exalted, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's the secret rare version. It's a great card, Mint 9, and these are a little bit thicker. The slabs themselves are a little bit thicker than your standard PSA uh, slab. I do, as a matter of fact, have a slab to compare to. Sitting off to the side here. It's still sleeved and everything, so you can see just kind of a general... This little back part of it, it's used to connect... Uh, like stacks of PSA cards, it kind of locks them in place a little bit, but you can kind of see there's some difference there. Now this one obviously is sleeved, so it looks a little bit thicker, but um, that's kind of the difference there. Uh, on the sides here, it's like, the best way to explain it is there's an overlapping piece that goes right on top here. So it's a large piece directly on top, followed by a smaller one on the bottom. That's part of what gives it those little lips, those little edges that connect uh, stacks of PSA cards together. Um, they used to have this really kind of ugly um, white mark here on the sides. They weren't very eye appealing. They've kind of moved that to a slightly more discreet location. You can see right here at the bottom. It's now down at the bottom there. And there's not one anywhere else on the card, which is cool. So there's only one place where the, um, I guess the slabs come off the press that way. Um, so that's how they look. Um, I'm sure a couple of you will ask the uh, new style grading sleeve that I sell. Actually, I sell individual sleeves, or you can buy them uh, on eBay from the actual seller. Um, do they fit? Do the thicker slabs fit? The answer to that question is yes. 
carefully. Um, I found that out the hard way. Um, played with uh, one of these slabs when I first came in and um, ripped the sleeve almost instantly as soon as I tried to put the card in. Part of that was me being careless, so I really just have to, you know, be careful. And if you guys are buying these, also be careful. Um, they just go in like so, and you know, don't don't push or wiggle too hard. I'll just kind of show you real quick. So use sleeve. Actually, you can see I ripped another one. Um, you have to be real careful at these top parts. Be really careful. Obviously, I was pushing a little too hard but they go over in the same manner. They do fit. Um, if anything, I think they look even better because they fill the sleeve out a little bit more, but they look pretty good. So that's how they look. You just have to be very careful. So obviously I've used this sleeve a couple times. That's probably why it ripped as well. Unfortunately, that's no good, so we'll throw that out. But uh, these are the new sleeves, so I know a lot of you guys will be very happy to have those. Alrighty, let's move on to the rest of this thing. Let's move on to the bulk of the order. Um, I forget if I mentioned before, but this was 54 cards, and that is actually one of the smaller rounds I had come in. Uh, every round after this is larger, and significantly so larger, close to 100, uh, which is double this. So, I mean, it, it's a lot of cards that came in. So, let's go ahead and jump on a couple of folks that actually have sent with me before. We'll go over some of their cards. The trading carter. We'll start with him. He sends sports cards on occasion. Uh, TJ, uh, is it Dozer? Dozier? I forget how it's pronounced. Also had a Tom Brady white jersey blue refractor. Just fun looking. There's the back with the stats. Also sent in a dark Charmeleon first edition. Came back as a mint nine. And one of my favorite cards that came back from this particular round was a Prism Pikachu. It's a Bandai um, card. I forget what, what set. I have people send me different kind of Prism cards, and PSA only grades certain ones. I don't know why. Uh, but this is one of them that they were willing to grade. There's the back here. Uh, but for whatever reason, they don't grade certain sets for whatever reason. But um, some of them they do, and it's awesome when they do. So very cool stuff. Next up, ACDC Rocks. Uh, one card here that was not graded, but one I was really, really hoping it would be graded. This is a Digimon card. This is Metal Seedramon. And for those of you who remember watching uh, that original series of Digimon, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool series. Uh, confused a lot of us who are in the Pokemon generation because Digimon could like evolve and then de-evolve is the way we always used to put it. Um, but uh, uh, it was a cool show nonetheless. I really liked a lot of the um, Digimon, how, how their artwork was done. I, I'm a fan of Metal Seedramon there. There's a lot of little intricate bits and uh, parts to it. Never understood the card game. I mean, this is completely foreign to me. But uh, boy, I was really hoping they would grade this one. I, I would imagine it would look really good behind a slab. Unfortunately, PSA does not grade Digimon. So let's move on with the rest of ACDC Rocks. Um, his his cards here, we have a Rockets Mewtwo Mid-9 Japanese version. We have a Full Art Celebi, Gem Mint 10. Ooh, be careful there. We have a Full Art Yavatel EX, that is Japanese. We have a Full Art Yavatel. This is the English version. Just came back as a Mint 9. And a Latios EX. Mint 9. Dragon Frontiers. And, of course, Latias EX. Also a Mint 9. Uh, moving right along. We have... Browser Boy TCG. He sent a number of cards. I think a lot of them. Gosh, were a lot of these cards repeated? I think they were. A couple of more. I'm seeing a lot of that. You'll see a lot of this in the next couple of rounds. Or these Charizards, uh, Mega Charizard. Um, you'll see a lot of people have sent them, so they're not uncommon. So you'll see them quite a bit, and a lot of them came back with high grades, which is good. Uh, the Coro Coro Magazine promo um, Charizard seemed to be a favorite for a lot of people, so he sent one of those. Came back as a Gem Mint 10. Uh, full Art Venusaur. 
gem mint 10, full art blastoise. And here we go, some mega Charizards. We have two gem mint 10s. These are from Wild Blaze, Japanese versions. So two of those. And then two of these as well, two gem mint 10. Kangaskhan's. Kangaskhan has actually been a favorite Pokemon of mine since the first generation. Um, didn't have a lot of, um, like, in terms of the cartridge game, uh, didn't have a whole lot of battle use, but I just liked the Pokemon for the longest time. So I'm kind of glad now it's it's getting some recognition, um, even as a mega Pokemon at least. Um, it has a lot of versatility to it. Really, even in double battles for VGCs and such, it, Kangaskhan itself had some some usability. So those of you who like doubles or VGC, you might already know Kangaskhan has some uses. Uh, for our Pokemon Center Lady, I believe it is. I forget what the actual translation of it is, but here it is. Another Wild Blaze card. This one came back as a Mint 9 for him. Uh, Full Art Kangaskhan Gem Mint 10, the Japanese version. Mint 9 Magnazone. Full Art. I, like, I love how it's textured on the card itself. You can kind of see when I play with it in the light how it's textured. It's very cool. And last one he sent was Toxicroak Full Art. Gem Mint 10. There we go. So, with lots of these videos, guys, I'm going to be breaking them up into parts, and this is no exception. Um, did a lot of rambling at the start of this video, and I don't want to keep you guys around too long. So, I'll go ahead and end this particular video, and I'll have another upload uh, right behind it. I'll try to do all the uploads in the same day, at least an hour apart, so you guys have time to watch in between. So, we'll stop it for right now. I still have uh, five more users to go over, so just stick around, and I'll have another upload again soon.